Hey everybody, it's Andrea, welcome back to my channel. It is of course that time when we have a look at all the pictures we've coloured in the month of December. So, obviously there's a lot of wintry Christmas ones and there's a lot of patterns and non-wintry Christmas ones because I got a bit bored. I just felt the need to just colour whatever I wanted to, but there are some Christmas ones in here so let's crack on. So, the first one I did, whoops, it's a bit far over, it's a lot closer to me than normal, is from Christmas Mandalas by Jade Summer. And as normal, I just did the first one in the book with um, various glitter pens. I must stop try and uh, lay off the glitter. <laughs> there's a bit of link shine in there, there's a bit of uh, Aeon, I think they're called. A bit of everything. So that's the first one. So that's good. I did another one in 50 Easy Patterns just because these are so easy to do. Oh my, sorry, I'm just making. There we go. Um, they're just nice and easy to do. Again, this is all glitter. I'm going to have to lay off the glitter a bit next year, do you think? Nah, it's not going to happen, is it? So there's that one. That was number two. Again, this was just me trying to use up bits of odd pen. Another Jade Summer one was, um, yeah, this is one, this is one I finished off from, um, I, that I was doing in November, which was in the Mermaid book, and it was this one, and I think that was, that was Shuttle Arts, definitely, that was the Shuttle Art pens. A nice easy one to do, it was fun. Another Christmas one, I did one from Elves Behaving Badly, which was the Cohen Heaven collection non-subscription issue, and I did help stuck in pants, or hanging around as it's called. Funny enough, Jennifer's got a Elves Behaving Badly colouring book that Grandad gave her for Christmas. It does have one of the pictures that's in here in it that I saw, which is cool. <laughs> Uh, I did do one from Santa's Little Christmas, which is Colouring Book Cafe, and I did this one. And I think that was just done with markers, but I'm not sure which ones. Probably the Shuttle Arts, or maybe... I think it might have actually been... Oh, what are they called? The Crayola Super Tips, actually. I think I was colouring with Jennifer, and uh, it was just that handy. Nice simple Santa picture, or Santan as she calls him. Another one from Sun and Moon Mandala colouring book by Camellia Angel Cova. This is probably going to be in line to be one of the books I finish first because I love colouring in this one, do it every month, and I'm just doing glitters in this one, so I do one most months. That's just a really, I love this book. I just, I just really love that book. I think it's stunning. I did one from Fairy Merry Christmas, uh, which is Deborah Muller, and I did this one. Again, this one was used, I used, I'm going to say the Shuttle Arts, um, Touch New Skin Tones and a Black Sharpie, as well as um, the Sakura Jelly Rolls for the metallic and sparkly bits. I really enjoyed that one, it was fun to do. Nice to know. And I, I've got quite a collection of Deborah Muller books and there's still loads I haven't got, so I might have to get some more. I did one in Christmas Flowers by Jade Summer. Okay, there's lots of Jade Summer. As you know, I love Jade Summer books. And we did another Santa picture. Again, just using markers. This was probably the Shuttle Arts again, more than likely. And as you can see, there's some sparkle on it. Some Winker Stella and some uh, glitter gel pens just to uh, give it a bit of oomph. Okay, I did one from uh, Jade Summer Christmas Animals. I'll just get my camera sorted because I just had to change the battery. I haven't marked this one for some reason. Let me just find it. It was a unicorn, it's near the front. Here we go, it's a pink unicorn with a rainbow and a pink unicorn. I sound terribly fed up and bored. I'm not honest. I'm just a bit wheezy tonight. My asthma's playing up a little bit, so there's that one. I enjoyed doing that one. That one was really fun. Just sat there and enjoyed colouring it. And uh, Chibi Girls Christmas, of course. 
didn't manage to do one in Kawaii Girls Christmas, but I will do that one. And we did this one on camera anyway. So I enjoyed this one. She was really cute to do. But then I always like doing them. I love them. I love these grayscale books by the team at Jade Summer. I think they're fantastic. I got one in uh, Christmas Fun Festive Girls Coming Book by Deborah Muller. Again, I haven't marked it. I don't know why. And it was this one. I do like this one. I think she's so cute. Done with. I want to say that would have been done possibly with the um, Shuttle Arts, I think. No, it wasn't. It was done with the Limoches. Because I picked the wrong colour skin tone. But it still, it doesn't matter. And I really like it anyway, so. That one. Cutesy Christmas, which is the Colour in Heaven uh, Christmas ed edition from the subscription. I did two in this one. I did, obviously, I did this one. We did this on, on camera. We did this with um, watercolours. I think it was the Castle Arts watercolours we used. And I really love my Santa. And my little squirrel. And then Curry in Heaven had uh, a little colour along through the 1st to the 24th where we did the advent calendar. We did one little square every day. There's two advent calendars you could choose which one you wanted. I did this one. Did one each day, so one number for each day, and then posted it to the wall and the album, and then at the last day you showed the whole picture. And this was mine, of course, is all sparkly. Yay! I did one again in 100 Magical Patterns. This is because I just wanted something easy to colour. I actually skipped a page because I didn't want to, wanted to use the glitters and I skipped the owl, so I'm going to go back and do that one probably this month. But uh, <coughs> I was just using up uh, a red, a blue and a yellow, well a gold yellow, as you can see it's slightly different colours. Because when it ran out I just replaced it with the nearest colour I had. I just did a three colour pattern. And I really like the way that turns out, and I'm going to have to do that sort of thing again where I just pick out three colours, maybe... I've, I've done occasionally like with blue, black and silver, or maybe black, red and gold would be nice, or green, red and gold, which is obviously very Christmassy. I didn't do that this time, but that's that one. That's a nice one. And then I did, on camera, we did this one. This is the last one we did. It's not the last one I finished, but it is the last one we did on camera we did the Christmas tree one from here which is really nice I quite like this book there's some really nice pictures in it I just wanted something simple to do on camera just to finish off the year so yeah it's got the snow fall and the trees really nice and there's something there oh no it's on the camera oh, something. I'm not with it tonight but yeah I enjoyed doing that one with you guys so and I know you liked it so thank you very much and the last one I did, I'm really, really proud of. Um, I gotta admit, it's from this, uh, the last subscription issue, Colour in Heaven, Creatures of the Night. And so if you're in the Colour in Heaven group or you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this picture already. It's the second picture in, and it's Aerial Demon. And I didn't want to do a background because I felt it would have to be black and brown. And I didn't want to, to do that. I, I thought it looked really nice. So it's all Black Widows and she's all various shades of red and orange and I really like the way she turned out I love looking at it it looks good on camera but it looks the same it looks just as good in real life so I'm really proud of that I did use the blender pencil over the top of her to get her looking really good so I'm really proud of this one it's one of my favorites um, and um, yeah very very proud of that one so uh, that is it. Those are all the pictures I coloured in the month of December. I'm currently watching all your, your videos as well, if you make them. Really enjoying it, so keep, keep it, just trying to get through them because there's so many of them. But uh, I do love it. I hope you've enjoyed this. Which one is your favourite picture of the month? Let me know down in the comments below. And we'll do this again at the end of January. See you soon, guys. Bye. Okay, guys, this is an amendment to the colouring book completed pages. It was only when I finished that I realised that I hadn't shown you Colour by Numbers by Jade Summer. The Colour by Number Christmas because I put it in a place that wasn't where I normally put my completed pages and I don't know what happened. So anyway, I also did this one. I'm glad to find it because I like this book. I did the very first picture 
and that was done using I'm going to say the Limoges yes it was it was the Limoges because they're the ones I use most for the color by numbers because there's so many different shades I can change actually change the colors around and use different ones so I'm just going to tack this on the end of the video so I do apologize that I forgot about that and I hope you have enjoyed this uh, video and I will see you in the next one bye guys